39 minutes after the hour, NBC Miami helping you live healthy. Banking your neighbor's cord blood has become a common practice in recent years. And it's the neighbor's newborn for the, for the cord. Mm -hmm. Now is a new trend which is emerging, banking and freezing baby teeth. NBC Miami health reporter Diana Gonzalez is here to explain why. Diana? Well, it's all about stem cells. Turns out teeth can be a rich source. But there are two considerations, the process and the price. Children's teeth may be more valuable than you think. It's been recently discovered that there are stem cells in the pulp chamber of these teeth. The same type of stem cells used in research at the University of Miami to repair damaged hearts. So instead of putting teeth under a pillow for the tooth fairy, Gene Cell International wants parents to bank the dental pulp stem cells in their freezers in West Kendall. Ideally, we, we would like to have the child get the tooth extracted once it becomes loose. If it falls out, the problem is you lose the blood supply to the tissue inside the tooth, therefore the cells would die. So a dentist would have to extract the loose tooth, put it in this collection bottle, and send it to Gene Cell's laboratory. And we process those cells, basically we extract them, and then we cryopreserve them at negative 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Just trying to make it look pretty, huh? Dr. Jeffrey Kane is a dentist in Aventura who volunteers at the Robert Morgan Dental Clinic. He sees an unneeded extraction as a concern. And even though you know it's gonna come out in a future date, to pull it prematurely, may be a tough sell for a lot of children. There's also the issue of cost. Dental pulp services, including processing and storage for up to four teeth at once, runs $695 for one year. The 20-year plan is $2,295. So these cells potentially can be used to treat many debilitating conditions like Parkinson's, potentially spinal cord injuries, even diabetes. Fat happens to be another rich source of these promising stem cells. Banking the fat extracted during liposuction might be possible in the near future. This afternoon, I spoke with Dr. Joshua Hare, director of the Stem Cell Institute at UM, and here's what he had to say about dental pulp banking. While the research is extremely encouraging, he says, quote, we can't say right now for sure it would be useful in the future, but it doesn't hurt to bank these cells if cost is not a problem. Dr. Hare also points out, we really don't know if frozen stem cells from a child's tooth will still be good to use 50 or 60 years later when they might be needed. Helping you live healthy, Diana Gonzalez, NBC Miami.